Hey, welcome back once again uh, to the final part of my Cyclonus review. As I stated before, I have a system how this is going to go, so let's get on to it. Alright, first robot mode. Well, Cyclonus um, is a really cool robot mode. I really like it. He just looks mean. He, he just looks the part of a badass. Um, he has some really nice eye... I piping. I think you could see it there. If you can't, sorry, uh, but it, it's pretty easy to catch the light and whatnot. And he just looks. Yeah, there we go. See, just look how mean that looks. I mean, he just really fits the bill of what a badass should look like. Um, articulation. You know, he can do this. He can, you know, he can go out to the gym and pump some iron. You know, like that, you know how it how it goes, uh, you know, this twists around, you know, this twists around as well. He has no waist articulation, but I don't really think that takes away from the figure. Let me just move that for a second. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. It's kind of hard. My um, laptop keeps wanting to fall, keep wanting to fall back, which screws with my lining. Um, you know, he his his thighs swivels. He has knee joints, he's got, once again, he's got footsie joints, see, and heel joints as well, so, you know, he can, he can kick, his head, you know, turns, you know, all the way around, over, all in all, uh, this is a great robot mode, and what makes it even better is, you know, of course, you, as you just saw, he can hold his gun like so. Now, I know there's a lot of fans of the, you know, Japanese Headmaster series, and I know I've heard some complaints actually from people that you know he can't, that you know about the way he holds his gun. Fear not, uh, fans of, excuse me, Headmasters, that there's actually some hope because he can hold it just like he did in Headmasters. You see that he's got a peg hole, and you see this. He's got a peg, and if you want, you can, with the pow with your powers combined, bam! Now Cyclonus has super fisting action. Watch out, ladies! He's got your number. Anyways, so he can do that, which is really cool. I mean, it's a really a homage to both the American and Japanese series, which uh, you know you don't really get a whole lot here in the states, actually. You don't, we don't, I mean, in the States, we don't have Headmasters, we don't have Victory, or, um, I can't rem I'm, Master Force, yes, Master Force. We don't have those, and, you know, it's really hard to get a hold of them, uh, and whatnot. So, it, just for the uh, hardcore fans, that's really kind of nice. Um, though, he, I, I have to say he has one downfall that really just bugs the crap out of me. Alright, you see this hand, how he can hold things because it's got a hole see well then we have this hand one of these things is not like the other one of these things just doesn't belong that's right folks this hand does not have a peg in it see it does not have a hole for a peg though this is my theory and you can like it or not but I think this is his pounded hand so he can have you know his hand you can have one hand free to shoot, and then when another Decepticon does something really nice, you can be like, Yeah, fool! Pound it! Pound! Yeah! Woo! So, you know, I guess that's nice, but it does take away a little bit from the robot mode, so I give him a solid 7. Now, transformation. Um, His transformation is kind of funky, and I really enjoy it. First off, let's start off with the hands. The hands fold in, like so. Uh huh. You see, they fold in like that, and then you can take his waist, his shoulders apart from his body. Now, this is I, I just want to point this out now because um, this is something I really liked and I thought it was really cool. His legs separate out like this. I know a lot of pe a lot of reviewers have already gone over this, but you know I. I'm going to go over something that I have not actually seen. 
And that's this look. I think this is badass. This is like some strange alien walker. Do, 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 do. So you know, when Cyclonus gets old and senile, he doesn't act. He doesn't have to get a walker or a wheelchair. He can make his own. Look at that. That's so awesome. Come on, folks. Notice these things. Sorry for shaking the camera once again. I, once my stuff gets here, uh, it will not be a problem. Anyways, so we're gonna fold these back all the way, like so. Then we're gonna fold his footsies, just like this. Fold them, fold them down. So he has this kind of weird space agey jet thing going on. Then I want. Then what you do is. You open up his back like so, and you'll see there's a compartment with this thingy. Now, twirl his head around like so. Fold this down, so we get we are starting to get the res more of a resemblance of an actual sp spaceship. And then you're going to see this little gray knob. Take the gray knob, and pfft, there you go. And then... Of course, you pull this back, rotate this stuff around, and push it in. I mean, it's really kind of cool how it just sort of just fits in so nicely. I, I really like that about this figure. It, it just, everything moves and changes, and yet, and yet nothing really goes anywhere. It's kind of cool. It goes like that. And then same thing with this side. Just gotta get it on the right side. Do 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 do. <laughs> Mine sometimes kind of sticks on this side. I don't know why, but it just does. Anyway, so there, there is Cyclonus's transformation. Um, it's really nice. It's a lot of fun. I like it. It's it's a lot di a lot. It's very different from any other transformations uh, of any other Transformers I've actually had the pleasure of having. So, once again, I'm referring to my sheet. I'm sorry, folks. I don't have this memorized, even though I've done this a million times. Because I kept changing. Anyways, um, so his transformation gets a solid 10. Now, his ult mode, I mean, it's a classic, just really nasty V-looking... Cybertronian jet thing. I mean, looks a lot cooler than um, certain Cybertronian jets that we saw in the live action movie. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, you know, also, one thing you might notice is that, you know, the lack of weaponry on this guy in this mode. But fear not, once again, Nightstick comes in handy. Wait, is, there's, a, there's a pig hole right there, if you can see it. Once again, my lighting is dehomogay, and it's not working. And you just fit the little little bastard in there, and voila, he's got a nice looking gun. Also, he's got you know landing gear, which I'm not a I don't really care about landing gear. So, anyways, yeah, um, very nice, very cool looking. He gets another ten. Um, this no nostalgia value. To me, he he rep he looks and represents what Cyclonus is. I mean, I know he's not lavender, and I know a lot of fans are were bitching about that he's not lavender. But you know what? I always thought lavender was kind of not cool for this guy. So I was kind of happy with the uh, darker purple, made him more, look more evil and badass. So you know, nostalgia factor for me really. Um, I think I give him a ten for that. Uh, I really like him. Now, playability. Once again, he suffers from the same thing that Nightstick does, and that he's not very fun without, you know, Nightstick. Really, you need the two of them. Um, I mean, he's just a Transformer without a gun, and Transformers need guns, and th that's just it. You, you need a gun if you're a Transformer. So, with Nightstick, he's a perfect 10, but without Nightstick, I'm sorry to say, but I have to give this guy a 4. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, Cyclonus review. I'm going to be doing more here a little bit. Any anyways, i got to get going, so take it easy, and if it's easy, take it twice. Later.